Hello and welcome back. Really quick, I just want to thank everybody who sent prayers to my family for my dad who was hit by a car while driving his motorcycle. He's out of surgery now and he's doing well. It means a lot to all of us. Thank you. And now, Joe Biden does an election denial. We'll restore the child care tax credit. We'll protect voting rights. We'll pass election reform and make no, make sure no one, no one ever has the opportunity to steal an election again. Oh my god! Did Biden just do an election denial? Which election was stolen? The 2020 election or the 2016 election? Either way, that sounds a lot like democracy threatening election denial. And that crowd of democracy defending Democrats were all cheering. And make no, make sure no one, no one ever has the opportunity to steal an election again. This isn't even the first time Biden has cast doubt on the election system. But don't worry, it was completely different when Joe Biden did it before the 2020 election. When he said, My greatest concern, my single greatest concern, this president's going to try to steal this election. Weird, because remember when Trump said the exact same thing back in 2016, and the Democrats said that he was a threat to democracy for doing so. Instead of calling Joe Biden a threat to democracy and pontificating about Democrat conspiracy theories, the media does what they always do and completely contradict themselves when dealing with the Democrats, giving Joe Biden's election conspiracy theories promotional support. Unfortunately for me, and now all of you, Biden wasn't done taking a flamethrower to the country's unity. And I'll show you those clips right after this quick break for this video's sponsor, Noble Gold. Wow, guys, check this out. Noble Gold, one of the sponsors of our show, has just been picked by Consumer Affairs, the rating agency, as the overall number one gold IRA company in the US. This doesn't happen by accident. It happens because they're true professionals who know what they're doing, tell their clients what they can and can't do to maximize their returns and minimize their losses. They they're that rarity in today's financial environment. Honest, caring, and reliable. Talk to the team today if you're thinking of precious metals. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold-proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. I don't respect these MAGA Republicans. The MAGA Republicans don't just threaten our personal rights and economic security. They're a threat to our very democracy. They refuse to accept the will of the people. My greatest concern, my single greatest concern, this president's going to try to steal this election. And make no, make sure no one, no one ever has the opportunity to steal an election again. He's an illegitimate president in my mind. That's it. Let them investigate. Let them subpoena. Let them go to the Supreme Court. He's illegitimate. And my biggest fear is that he's going to do it again with the help of Vlad, his best pal. Would you be my vice presidential candidate? <laughs> but... Folks, look, I absolutely agree. MAGA Republicans don't just threaten our personal rights and economic security. They're a threat to our very democracy. They refuse to accept the will of the people. Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans have made their choice to go backwards, full of anger, violence, hate, and division. But we've chosen a different path. A different path? You are quite literally giving the far left extremist wing of your party, BLM and Antifa, all the justification they need to commit violence against your political opponents. And this is just Biden's typical tactic when he's trying to fear monger people into agreeing with him. How do you want to be remembered? At consequential moments in history, they present a choice. Do you want to be the side on the side of Dr. King or George Wallace? Do you want to be on the side of John Lewis or Bull Connor? You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. That's right. So he does this unity rally. Tommy, he then goes to a private fundraiser with Democrats. And as typical, the comments always leak out. Here were his comments. What we're seeing now is either the beginning or the death knell of an extreme MAGA philosophy. It's not just Trump. It's the entire philosophy that underpins it. I'm going to say something. It's like semi-fascism. So he's calling half the country now fascist. You're a fascist. Hey, this guy's a great big fascist. Hey, 
You're a great big fascist. Know that? Hey, come on, Stewie. Your mom and I have something for you. That's right. You're a big fat fascist. This guy sounds more and more like the typical Redditor communist. Everyone I don't agree with is a fascist. What exactly is a semi-fascist? According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, fascism is a political philosophy, movement, or regime that exalts nation and often race above the individual that stands for centralized autocratic government, headed by a dictatorial leader, severe economic and social regimentation, and forcible suppression of opposition. Bruh. How does that not describe Joe Biden and the modern semi-communist Democrat party? Race is everything to these people. And we all know that the Democrats would be just fine with the dictatorial leader, autocratic government, severe economic and social regimentation, and forcible suppression of their opposition, all in the name of saving democracy or the earth. We're currently watching the Biden regime weaponize the DOJ and the FBI against their political opponents, to the point that the FBI actually attacked attempted a coup against President Trump in 2016, and then, according to whistleblowers, actually instructed their agents not to investigate the Bidens for the express purpose of making sure that Biden won the election. And like I've talked about before, in order to be authoritarian in the first place, you need an institutional support base. Currently, the Republicans don't have that, or power. All the power, all the institutional support currently resides on the left and in the Democrat Party. Remember that Sam Harris interview a week or so ago, where he justified a government media conspiracy to tip the election in favor of Joe Biden by suppression and censorship of bad news for the Bidens by comparing Trump to a meteor that's about to hit the earth. That's exactly why Democrats and the left are particularly dangerous. They can rationalize anything to get what they want. And listen to what Joe Biden just said the other day. And it's not hyperbole, the very survival of our planet is on the ballot. When you actually believe that democracy or the survival of the earth is at stake, you can justify anything to stop it. That is the actual threat to this country. All right, that's all I have for that one. Thanks as always for watching. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot.